Hi everybody and thank you for sticking around for the second half of Insights today. My guest in the second segment is Ms. Rita Rios. She is the Interim Director of Career Services. Some of you may uh, know her family members. Her father Carmelo Ramos was the Assistant Vice Principal at Vineland High School and her mother Elizabeth Ramos was a social worker. Uh, 11 years ago, Rita became the mother to triplet boys, Caden, Caleb, and Carol. Um, in her current position, she has the privilege of providing insight to students who are unsure of a major, looking to transfer, and probably most important, securing employment. So it's in this belief that Rita helps motivate students to set their bar high and provide them with the, resor the resources and the encouragement needed for them to succeed. And it is a pleasure to have you here today, Thank Rita. you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. Thank you. I hear you have a cold, so thanks for battling for out <laughs> and being here. So uh, how did you end up in, in Cumberland County College? You were actually born here, as I said yes. before. You've lived here? Yes. Have you, have you lived here your whole yeah, life? I, I pretty much. Um, I left for a short period, but, um, you know, as everyone does in Cumberland, we end up leaving and then coming back, um, you know, to our, our hometown. I started here part-time um, doing, um, being a workforce specialist, helping individuals who are unemployed coming to work. Uh, or coming to school to get retrained, um, and then a position for career services opened up about a year later. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've been here full time doing career services. And the job you have is really an important one too. Um, you know, we take a look at jobs, and we all know that Cumberland County, we never really experienced the booms that you know other parts of the state or country experience. Um, how would you characterize? the jobs that are out there right now just put into uh, into words for us the employment picture as you see it well a lot of the jobs now in the um, in the county are either in healthcare uh, social services uh, and a lot of um, manufacturing positions mm -hmm. but are th are they plentiful are they high paying jobs I mean I, I think what I'm asking is um, are job prospects better right now than they were five years ago or ten years ago or well the way that the I same? like to, to to tell students is to just make sure that when they look at their job prospects that they're willing to branch out and possibly um, travel a little bit for uh, for their for their career um, being that there's a lot more jobs in healthcare um, Inspira is one of the um, biggest employers here in our county. However, you know you do have Kennedy, you have um, Thomas Jefferson University um, Hospital. So you know you may need to venture out into either Pennsylvania or Delaware. So okay, by travel you mean possibly yeah again Philadelphia, mm -hmm. the suburbs of Philadelphia, Wilmington, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, jobs are cyclical. I was telling you before the show. Um, I can remember when I first moved to Vineland almost three decades ago, somebody gave me a book and it was called Small Towns of New Jersey. And I remember there was a picture on the cover of the book and it, the caption was the oyster fleet assembled at Bivalve. And inside the book, it claimed that there were 45,000 people in Cumberland County employed in the oyster industry. Now this was in the 1950s. Wow. I think today there's about a handful and they're mostly you know, researchers. Mm -hmm. um, we had tens of thousands of people in the glass industry in Cumberland County over the years. We're down to a few thousand. Uh, Duran Glass still employs about a thousand people, I believe. Mm -hmm. But um, where, what is the next wave? I mean, what, what do you see? Uh, you mentioned healthcare before mm -hmm. and uh, social services. Um. F, uh, finance as well. Finance is a growing field. Really? Um, you know, working in accounting, uh, insurance, um, uh, real estate, and, and you know, th that used to be a, a smaller market, but now we're seeing more growth in the sales of homes and manufacturing of homes and construction as well. Hmm. So that's kind of a new area that was big before kind of slowed down and now with the economy is is increasing and again that's something that's cyclical mm -hmm. so exactly. hopefully that will pick up and um you know and and stay hot for a while mm -hmm. now i know that you're very very proud of um what's called the college central network yes the ccn correct mm -hmm. um i know that you've been talking about it a lot you've been giving presentations in in different places mm -hmm. give us an overview ccn um college central 
dot mm com. -hmm. What is this program? What's it all about? How does it help our students? Right. Well, let me tell you first where it's located. Um, it can be found on our website, www.cccnj.edu. By scrolling to the bottom of the page, you'll see something that says career opportunities. Okay. Now, as we just did with Diane mm -hmm. in, the, in the first mm -hmm. uh, segment, let's do that a little bit more slowly. Mm -hmm. cccnj.edu. That's mm -hmm. the college's main website. Mm -hmm. Scroll to the bottom. Career opportunities. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then once inside that link, look you for... You will see College Central Network. College Central Network. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's just so much in there. Mm -hmm. Tell us tell us about that. So when you initially click in there, you'll notice that there's um, different options for students, employers, alumni, and community members. So um, any of those individuals are able to create an account. As far as the student and alumni account and a community account, um, you're able to create an account, look for jobs, um, uh, post resumes, look, f you know, help with resume building, and employers can also go in there as an employer and post jobs for our students or community members. Mm -hmm. So it's really a great way, a great hub of information where we can um, really unite students, employers, and community members that are looking for career opportunities mm -hmm. in one place. So a great place to bring people together, employers and employees, but not only that, a place where the students or the prospective job seekers can get all kinds of information, help with resume writing, help mm -hmm. with interview tips, lots of other things as well, correct? Correct. Um, one of the links I know in the, um, in the network is a career advice document. So I was taking a look at a career advice document. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What kind of career advice? Just show up on time, dress well, that kind of stuff? Or is there is there more than that? Well, the portal is, I mean, it is a wealth of information, which is why I'm so passionate about getting the word out there and really wanting to share it with other people. The career documents, they come in many forms. You can get a visual aid. Uh, they have podcasts. They have videos. So any way that you would want to get the information, they have it there. Um, the usual interviewing, uh, resumes, um, how to approach a job fair. Okay, hang on one second. Mm -hmm. Podcast, you, you said, um, mm -hmm. with job search advice, mm -hmm. right? Um, career portfolio builder. Yes, in there. Mm -hmm. that's correct. Um, workshops, programs, events, mm -hmm. I guess, in different places. Right. Um, resume builder. Mm -hmm. Resume builder, what, does that actually give a template for a resume? Or? It does. You can actually go in there and state that you're a business student mm -hmm. and it will tell you as a business student how to develop a business resume. So it really can walk you through the steps of um, developing a resume that's tailored to your particular major. Does it let the student know how important that resume is? I tell my students all the time, spell everything right. Don't have any fragments. Mm -hmm. Make sure that thing is beautiful. That is your, you know, your presentation to the world. I right. hope, I hope it, it, it uh, emphasizes how important the resume, mm -hmm. the cover letter is. Um, well, the good part about the College Central Network is that it has a wonderful administrator, uh, who happens to be me, uh -huh. who has to approve the resumes before they're posted. Ah, so, so I get to yes. So I will look them over and say you have this spelled wrong. You have a lowercase capital I. God love you. Um, and send feedback before it's actually posted into the portal and seen by employers. That's wonderful. I didn't I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, and as you said before, people can recruit and hire right from the pool. So it is a place where employers and prospective employees mm -hmm. can and will and do come together. Yes, and it's not just for jobs. Uh, if employers are looking for interns, if alumni, um, if they're looking to mentor uh, what some of our students, that's also an option in there as well. They can sign up to be in our mentoring network and become a mentor, mentor our college students, mm -hmm. help shape the leaders of tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, you know, and give back. How, how do you help somebody uh, set career goals and find a major? How do you do that? Well, I you're 18, you're 19, you don't know what you want to do. How do you, how do you even begin? Yeah. Well, initially, I talk to them about what their interests are. We do have something on campus called Type Focus that is a career assessment, um, which is about a 30 to 40 minute tool that they can answer questions and it'll give them so feedback. So kind of like a Myers-Briggs personality? Yes, Myers-Briggs is one of the, you know, foundations of one of the assessments. So yes, 
Um, but for the most part, we talk about, you know, what their interest area is. If uh, My first question is if they're planning on transferring, um, because then we really want to look at, at transfer programs. But it really is just finding out what the student is interested in, what their long-term goals are, um, you know, what and you know, what classes were their favorite in high school? What do they naturally excel in? Do they, um, are they good with writing? Um, does math come easy for them? Uh, do they enjoy science? So we have a, just a lot of discussion and that's part of the career counseling piece. And then the final piece is them taking the actual assessment. So they can do the uh, market research and career research. Is this job in demand? Is it in demand in our county, in New Jersey? How much does it pay? Is it going to require me to get a doctorate? Mm -hmm. Is it a bachelor's degree program? So, so, so what's the what's the early feedback that you've had with the program, and what kind of a, what kind of success are you are you having with it? Students, um, the feedback that I've uh, received from students is that they really enjoy it. I think it's because they only know what they know. So when they take the career assessment, it's giving them op options that maybe they didn't think about. Um, for example, for example, you know, they may have thought of about just being a nurse. Well. Right there's so many different types of nursing other than just being in a hospital and being a nurse. That's one of the great so things about college. They come in, they're not sure what to do, and they find things here that they didn't even know existed. That's the, the beauty of it. We're out of time, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, it has been such a great pleasure having you here. I hope Thank that you. we can do this again. Yes, definitely. And I wish you the best of luck with, uh, with the challenges that you have. Thank you.